Hey guys and gals, here's an update on the windshield wiper arm fix. And we're recreating it. Here we go. You ready? Look at that. Is that not gorgeous or what? Wipes it right clean. Some of you are asking why the arm gets flattened out where it doesn't put pressure down when the spring is more than strong enough down here. It's because people lift up on it and they torque and wrench trying to get the blade off to change the blade and it flattens this arm out. That's how it happens. Also an update on the transmission drain plug we did on a few videos back. They've already been to Mackinac Island and back. 10 hour drive there and back and uh, they're happy as can be. The transmission shifting like new. Hey guys and gals, sweet project cars here with a cool trick and affordable and simple ways to do things. But I'm here to share with you how to operate a single action DeWalt buffer and how to make it really work for you. Now, all the tools will be in the show more of the video description for all of you that are looking for those. The reason we use single action versus a dual action buffer is because the single action can get the job done faster, better. We've tried the DAs, they just don't get the job done right. On other projects, say you want to sand something down or whatever it may be, you can't use a dual action buffer to grind or sand or what have you. So why not buy the one tool that's going to do it all for you? First thing I'm going to do is remove all the tree sap with my uh, lighter fluid and a plastic razor blade. And I'm going to do that and buzz through that part real quick. Here's a secret that if you are getting ready to buff your car out, and the shine is already somewhat decent. We like to use the mother's instant detailer on it before we do anything. We're just doing this video to show you how to operate the single action DeWalt buffer. Now you can see this paint is in dire need of a buff job, that's for sure. Let's get up there and I'll show you. It's pretty dull. It could be clay barred, but I'm not going to because I want to share with you how to use the buffer. So first off, we have our DeWalt buffer. The pad is clean and fluffy. We're going to fluff it up. I'll show you how we fluff it up. It is stained because it's been used a lot, but this is the 3M polishing pad. And we'll be in the show more of the video description. And what we do to fluff it up, a lot of guys use a screwdriver and all that, that's too damaging to them. What we do is we just slowly hit it a few times and we use a brush. That's all you have to do. And you can see all of the stuff that we removed off of it there. Here's a few clues when you're buffing. Do not do it on a hot car. Make sure you're in the shade. Try to do it in the morning when it's cool. For those of you that have had the stuff you put on the hood dry up on you and the buffer grabbing and all that, that's because you're trying to do too big of an area. I'm going to do this as you would do it, not as I would do it, because I would do half the hood at one time. I'm going to share with you, as a beginner, how you should do it. What I'm going to use to buff this out, Zymol. It doesn't need a compounding pad, doesn't need none of that, but again, we're not here for that. We're here to share with you how to operate a single action DeWalt buffer. But all I do is just, I just start here, tap it a few times set your buffer at about 2200 rpms 26 somewhere in there 2200 will work and i'm going to share with you i'm going to go over where the light is just how quickly this works to make your car shine and when you're operating the buffer after you've done it and gotten it flattened out so you're not slinging everything all over the place 
you'll operate the buffer more on an angle like this as it starts to dry. As your product is starting to disappear and dry, you'll tip the buffer up on more of an angle like this. And as long as you keep it moving over areas, contours of the paint, you will not have any problems. It's those people that sit here and hold it there, they're going to burn through the clear and then through the paint. So I start out flat, I get it, I get it so it's down, then I pick it up, and I just barely tap it, and I move it back and forth like this, and I go this way. Now, I know that other people are going to come on here and say that's not how you do it, and you do it this way. This is how we do it, and we've done it hundreds and hundreds of times and it works really well and if you follow this you'll have great success with your buffing and shining of your vehicle. We never get uh, crazing or hazing or any type of spider scratches or anything on it when we do this. We go up and back. Now you see I'm starting to tilt the buffer up on more of an angle. Now, you can use the Mother's Carnuba. We love that. That'll be in the show more as well. Now, the neat thing about using the Zymol is you can give it a mist of water very lightly, and you always want to keep a bottle of water around you. So if it does dry up on you and you did too big of an area and you made a mistake, all you have to do is spray a little water on it and buff it till it comes off. How that water opens it back up and brings the Zymol back on top, the wax back on top. This is a cleaner wax that we're using. Now you can droop the cord over your shoulder if you desire to so that it's not touching the car. That's totally up to you. And when I finish it off, I will lay it flat like this. Very lightly, you're putting hardly any pressure on. And as you see, the wax is gone. It's not building up on me. I didn't put too much on. A lot of times you'll run into situations where you put too much on. If you have scratches and stuff in your paint, then you want to make sure you use your mother's first to remove all the scratches and then go to your wax, your cleaner wax. Now you basically can do this as many times as you want until you get the shine that you're looking for. And you can see that shine is already starting to come up. It's starting to look beautiful. This car should have mothers done to it to remove the impurities in it, but this coarsest paint is 20 years old. This is on a 20 year old car, factory paint, and somebody took really good care of it. That's why it's easier to do. But using a single action, I'm telling you, I promise you that this is the only way to go because you know, once you get used to it, you'll love it and you'll get the job done fast and you'll really get a nice shine to it. If you're going over an edge like this right here, and you, and you keep it moving. I don't stay all day in one spot right here. And I hold it on an angle like that and back over. Now that shine's starting to come on really nice. I'm excited about how well it's going to look here. 
Now, if you're wondering why we use the instant detailer beforehand, it, get this. This is a secret of ours. It has worked great and why we don't have issues with the wax building up or having the buffer grab on you. This actually lubricates the paint and helps your buffing and adds to the shine as well, but it lubricates it and you will find a huge difference when you use this first before you do any buffing. Now I could go over that more, but I'm not going to. Now we're going to use our Meguiar's liquid wax. And you can do this by hand from here on out, but there's no sense in it. Hold it flat, do it, just tap it so it doesn't fling. Then I slowly tip it up so that I'm getting it all over the pad from this edge to the center. Now it's all over the pad. Now I hold it flat. Now you do is take your microfiber. You'll get no scratches or crazing or anything in here when you're doing it this way. And if it was ceramic coated after you clean, did this, of course you don't use any wax before you do that, you use a polishing compound. And then you're 99% rubbing alcohol. That's all it is folks, that's how easy it is to do this. I don't like doing videos this long, but in order to show you how to use it, tipping the buffer so it's on an angle like that, so you're using the edge when it starts to dry up and put a mist of water on it if you have to and use a super high quality 3M polishing pad and you'll be good to go.